Why are there so many? I feel like an absolute freak because for the longest time, I haven't been able to stop thinking about Fortnite. Tom Holland. Man, I want to talk to bitch ass. Not about any of the original content from the game, of course. I'm not caught up on all that. I'm thinking about what I'm always thinking about. Spider-Man. When Fortnite first started adding skins from Marvel, I was slightly interested. The first one I noticed was Deadpool, and wow, what a great fucking design for Deadpool. Nice large rims for his eyes and the smallest white pinpricks in the middle. The sizing is just perfect. The costume is covered in a nice blood red, which always looks great on DP. This is just the... I'm just fucking realizing that this is just the movie Deadpool suit. It's the same fucking layout, gear and all, but with less seams on it and bigger eyes. I'm fuck- I- I feel so ashamed of myself. I thought this was an original Fortnite Deadpool design. Anyway, it's a nice skin and it was the first one I got. And naturally, you know, if Deadpool can get in, so can Spider-Man, right? Months go by. Maybe even a year if I remember correctly. So many fucking Marvel characters are getting in. Iron Man, She-Hulk, Wolverine, Daredevil, fucking Venom, but no Spider-Man. What fucking gives? Are you guys fucking holding back the Spider-Man or something? Where the fuck is he, goddammit? I fucking hate when this goddamn shit happens. Fucking giving me Marvel without giving me goddamn Spider-Man. You know what I'm here for. Look at me. Where the fuck is he? I want Spider-Man. And play the fucking thing of Jameson screaming at the thing with the newspaper flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Fucking chapter three drops, and man, it is a great time to be a Spider-Man fan. And you know I don't take it lightly. It's rare for it to be a good time in Spider-Man land for long. Finally, Fortnite was giving me the opportunity to waste several hours of my life, some of my money, and all of my sanity in exchange for some of the greatest classic Spider-Man suits of all time. You know that I will be there. I'm like a sleeper cell agent who suddenly loses all control and it's just Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. Activated immediately, I can't help myself. Could you imagine not having this skin? It's too much to think about, it makes me sad. That being said, I never missed a single Spider-Man skin in this game. That means any spider person, including Gwen, but no villains or anything like that. I don't have MJ or Green Goblin, but I did buy the MJ skin for my girlfriend. So if anything, I bought the damn thing. I got every Spider-Man skin off the Chapter 3 Battle Pass, including these weird recolors. I mean, come on, even if the selection of suits wasn't good, I'd still do it. But these choices are immaculate. You have classic red and blue Spider-Man, and then you got Spider-Man in white and Spider-Man in black with a little bit of both in between. This is a nice selection. They all look very nice next to each other, and each of these suits are well loved within the community. Solid picks, I think these were the best choices, but I also think Scarlet Spider would have been a great pick for that third slot. In fact, I'd love to see him. Anyway, enough pissing about, let's fucking talk about these designs. Off the bat, I want to say, classic Spider-Man can be done so, so, so so wrong. Whether it's these weird MCU versions and adaptations that have echoes of the classic suit within them, bad redesigns of the classic suit, anything like that. Believe me, it can be done so, so wrong. But not in Fortnite, baby. The eyes are massive with lots of curves and points in the shapes of the rims. The logos are very nice, and the suit is very, very charming because it looks super classic. This isn't a Tasm-esque Spider-Man, or a super fucking realistic, hyper-modernized Spider-Man. This is unashamedly, goddamned, motherfucking, classic Spider-Man as God intended. He's perfect in every way. The web lines on his suit are nicely spaced out. It's not too crowded, not too sparse. This is the perfect, classic Spider-Man suit. It's the best of all time. There's random lining on the blue parts. Now, I know that we hate weird random lining on Spider-Man suits, but just hold on. The lining isn't too visible, and everything else about the suit is so good that I would say it's a 9 out of 10 at worst. In fact, if I really had to put a number on it, that's what it would be. But just know, it's one of the greatest. I like how the red and blue look on this suit, 
The flat orangey red combos really well with that shiny dark blue. It's top 5 classic Spider-Man redesigns, which is probably a video I should do in the future. Alright, next up is the black suit. It's really hard to do the black suit wrong in my opinion, you really have one job. You make a killer logo, you make some nice big lenses, and you don't forget the hand patches. So it's three jobs, actually. And Fortnite! Well, what can I say? They, they did the fucking job. You got your killer logo, your nice lenses, and the hand patches are all accounted for. If you ask me, they didn't go insane, but hey, they certainly did not fuck up the job. They did real well. I do really like the blue shading that comes with it, too. This is an 8 out of 10. I just wish the eyes weren't so round and blob-like, but to each his own. I feel the same way about this suit as I do the last one. It's pretty much perfect. Future Foundation looks just as nice as the last two skins, if not better if I'm being honest. There are no weird seams, the lenses are really nice, and the logo has a nice shape to it. It looks awesome from the back, and remember, you're going to be looking at the back of your character's skin a lot, so the back of them better look just as cool as it does on the front or you're fucked. The black portions line his body really nice, and this pairs really nicely with the very geometric Spider-Man logo. If I had to say anything, the lenses are reused and recolored from the classic suit, but it was either that or the blob lenses, so I'll take it. This suit slides by with a 10 out of 10. Alright, so we did all the real skins. Let's get to these ghoulish motherfuckers over here. So the theme of these recolors, right, was photo negative, scarlet blackout, and gilded reality. This means every other character in the battle pass gets a blue, red, or yellow glowing black costume, depending on which recolor you pick. This looks a lot better on the other skins, because you get to see their faces and, and skin, so it just looks like they're wearing some fancy outfit. Spider-Man's entire costume is colored like this now. Um, I mean, I guess there was no better alternative, but I, I just don't think it looks good. This photo negative one is really a letdown to me. I feel like they were this close to making a negative zone Spider-Man costume, but they didn't because they decided to limit the blue to the borders of the web section. I feel like this isn't such a big ask since Fortnite did so well with the other skins. I know they know their Spider-Man shit. Their black suit looks straight out of the comics it first appeared in. This Scarlet Blackout one though, I'm 60% sure is some homage to Miles Morales. Hear me out, the webs are gray, just like Spider-Verse Miles. The borders are red, including the logo. Red fades up his arms and feet, just like they do on most Miles suits. And there's a circle within the back logo on the back, which is very similar to Miles' Spider-Verse logo, which also uses a circle to give itself a unique look. I could be wrong. It's just an observation. A game theory. I don't have anything to say about PP Spider-Man. I don't... I don't give a fuck about this one. I don't know, they're just all bland, kind of miss the mark recolors. If they're your thing, wear them. But I'm gonna be wearing the good shit, okay? Because after this, Fortnite decided to cook up their very own Spider-Man design. Yeah, I bet it's gonna be super fucking awesome. Fortnite always makes some fucking nice ass skins. It's half the appeal of the fucking game. They've gotta knock it out with their custom Spider-Man design. What the fuck is this? I'll tell you how to fix this. You make this dark red black and this becomes a 7 out of 10. It's just a weirdly formatted suit. It's not bad. It's just got some weird stuff going on with it. I think the lenses are the best part about it and I really like the back piece. But the logo on the front just looks really weird and squiggly. The color formatting on the whole suit's a little odd and that just combines with the dark red not being a good fit for the... I guess color palette of the suit. If the look you're going for is a tactical armored Spider-Man suit, you gotta remember that all the old ones had black on them. Don't be afraid to bust out the black with Spider-Man suits. A lot of Spider-Man suits look great with them. A lot better than this dark red. It's like a 6 out of 10, the way it is. I still wear it sometimes. And that's about all the times the people over at Epic Games put pencil to paper when it came to designing Spider-Man Fortnite skins. They've done a couple movie Spider-Man designs, like the big three from across the Spider-Verse, Miles, Gwen, and Miguel. Gwen actually got a lot of variant skins because she was a Battle Pass skin like Peter before. She honestly got some way cooler variants than Peter did, especially this light blue one and this golden version. You also have Spider-Man's upgraded suit here. It's in its No Way Home variation, which you can tell because there's no band on the belt. It also comes with the inside out variant of this costume. Now, I hate this suit and everything about it, but at least there are no bullshit wires on it this time, so it gets a pass from me, it's fine. 
but that's all the Spider-Man skins. There are a couple other Spider-Man characters like two versions of Mary Jane, Green Goblin, Prowler, and of course some symbiotes, but that's it. There's not just Spider-Man skins though, there's all sorts of accessories and shit like that, like the backpacks, which vary in quality in my opinion. The Spider-Man backpack makes sense on every other character but Spider-Man. Why would, why would Spider-Man be wearing a backpack with an extra suit in it? He doesn't have to be double duty in the field like this, he can just leave the spare one at home. Someone forgot to tell Peter there was no fucking battle damage in this game. There's also a Spider-Verse portal you can wear on your back. This nice, meanwhile, comic book box thing. This way more low-key Spider-Man bag. Tom Holland's spider symbol. For some reason. Spider-Man Zero did this back bling spider thing way better in my opinion. These are cool and all, but I'm not too impressed by them. I'd rather just wear the Spider-Man suit with no backpack. If I had to pick which ones are the best, I'd probably go with the Spider-Verse portal, the Spider-Man Zero Spider Drone, and the 2099 Web Cape, since that's pretty much an essential part of the costume. You see, Fortnite isn't like the other Spider-Man developers, okay? They know what we want. We want this motherfucker to have a cape on him. We fucking got it. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Now, can you fucking decrease the, the, the price of V-Bucks now? The pickaxes are even weirder in my opinion. And honestly, I just think it's because of how Spider-Man is. Spider-Man doesn't have a weapon that instantly comes to mind when you're tasked with assigning something to a pickaxe. So Fortnite scrambled for a bit, and I think the more they were asked to do this, the better they got at it. So the classic Spider-Man came with this web hammer, full name being the Walloping Web Hammer. Okay, it's a hammer made of webs with a spider on the side. That's fine, I guess. Next, for Zero Spider-Man, Fortnite came up with this fucking thing. Okay, so Spider-Man just squirted all over that axe and that was it? What kind of damn sense does that make? I can buy a web hammer, okay? That's fine. It's been done before. But what in the ever-loving fucking shit is this? But it's gonna be okay, alright? Because Fortnite made some way better Spider-Man pickaxes after this. Spider-Gwen gets an actual drum stick and Miles Morales gets Spider-Ham's hammer that he left for him in Spider-Verse. Very nice, very cute reference. There's also an emote where Spider-Ham comes out. I can't believe I- if I didn't say that while recording this, it would not- it would have not been in the video. Fuck! I forgot to talk about the fucking emotes! <sighs> I'll have to fucking make another fucking Spider-Man Fortnite video in the future. Oh well. Anyway, these are both very satisfying picks for pickaxes. Way better than Peter just web spinning up a sad excuse for a pickaxe himself. You'll never break out of a box with this shit, Peter. That's why you got clapped up in the beginning by Harley Quinn. Disgusting. 2099's got these light slicers, which I guess makes sense and fit his look. And Tom Holland just gets a fucking bat? The no way home run hitter. What in the fucking ass does this have to do with Spider-Man? I get the joke, okay, but was the joke fucking funny enough that they had to put it in the game? I mean, other than those items, there are two gliders which are actually pretty cool, one Spider-Man themed contrail, and a bunch of emotes I forgot to include in this script. And I believe, with that, I should have covered everything important that's been added to Fortnite in the name of Spider-Man. Of course, I fucking forgot to write about the emotes. I'll make another video at some point, goddammit. All in all, everything I talked about in this video today was pretty cool, even if I ragged on it a bit. I'm actually really excited to see what kind of Spider-Man stuff Fortnite adds in the future. If I had to say, I'd ask for a couple Spider-Man skins. First, as I said earlier, Scarlet Spider would have been a really cool pick. I would have loved to see him come out with Miguel and Miles during Spider-Verse. I think he would have fit incredibly well within Fortnite, whether they decided to use his comic shaded look from the movie, or go for their own Scarlet Spider design. Really? Any of the characters from Spider-Verse I'd love to see. Spider-Man India would be a great choice, also Spider-Punk. Like I would love to see a Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man skin, or some sort of Spider-Man Noir. It'd be awesome to see a proper classic Miles skin too. Anyway. Now that I've covered pretty much everything, it's safe to say that I'm really happy with how Fortnite has handled the webhead so far. They've got some work to do when it comes to designing their own Spider-Man stuff, but they sure know how to put some sauce on the old ones, and they make some pretty nice Spider-Man movie skins. I'm excited to see what they add next. Hopefully it's me! I want to be in Fortnite! Where's my creator code? Where's my creator skin? I would look so cool! Come on Fortnite, I have an incredibly marketable design. Okay, it doesn't even look like Spider-Man that much at all, if you're blind. Um, 
come on i'd be such a good skin you know and you know all my fans are like 12 and they're lying about being 18 on their youtube accounts you know they would love a fortnite sponsorship come on please 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 make me a fortnite skin i would look so cool i swear to god it would be so awesome and it would be so cool if i could be in fortnite i'd be i would become the greatest fortnite player of all time if i got my own spider-man skin the psm skin drop okay we can change the name if, it, if you're too scared to like include or like get in trouble with Marvel. Okay, I swear to God, um, I'll be good. I won't swear. Uh, I'll, 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 anything for a Fortnite skin, honestly. 